Oh, mate, yeah, what, mate? Yeah, really good, mate. Welcome to the next episode of Your Christmas Coach. It's finally here, all the way from sunny southern Australia. That's right, we're in Sydney, land of sun, sea, sand, and lack of social skills. This is the problem I come to confront today. Modern technology. It seems that these days, everyone's glued to their iPhone, iPad, or Kindle. Or if you're really unlucky, one of those Windows 8 tablet things. Now, the trouble is with these products is they get in the way of the striking up banter and a little bit of conversation. And conversation skills need to be practiced all the time. If you just do them every now and then, they wear out, they, they get thin a little bit. The trouble is, when we've got technology like this in our hands, it's a very big distraction, and conversations take effort to start. It's just the way of things, and it's always going to be like that. But if we can escape into our Kindle or our iPhone, then we usually do, and that not only puts off a barrier for us and distracts us, but it stops other people talking to us. So one assumption a lot of people have is if we try and start talking to somebody who's engaged on an iPhone or engaged on their uh, uh, tablet, uh, we get a bad response because we're interrupting them, whatever they were doing. Now, usually commuters, at the end of a hard working day, which it is, I believe it's 6 p.m. here, usually they're just decompressing a bit and they're relaxing, and you know, that's a good thing, but it needn't be the barrier we think it is. It's just in our heads, I'm pretty sure. So I thought I'd decide to find out. So what we're gonna do is go and chat to some people on the platform who are engaged in uh, cybernetic heroin, because that's really what it is, isn't it? Nectar at Facebook. All our social skills and social life moving online. It's a bad thing, let's go and fix it. Yeah. Right, oh dear, this is my exercise for today. These shoes are actually killing me. I just got them and they're new, but they're, um, I've got those things where you've got blisters on your feet and you just got to walk through the pain. All right, first person I can see, someone on the headphones, on the left, on an iPod. And these on an iPod, let's give it a go. Excuse me. Hi, quick question. Sure. Are you on your headphones and an iPad because you're just really bored? Or are you just feeling kind? For a survey? No, no, I'm just really curious because what my philosophy is is I think not a lot of people talk to each other anymore and we're all engaged in technology. That is very Is it a boredom thing? Is it a what? Is it a boredom thing? No, I think you're just so used to it. I'm oh, sorry, do you have to get on the train? Yeah, I do. Oh, no, run away. It's interesting because I believe the same thing. I work in social media. Oh, God. Can you have the headphones on? Okay. See you soon. Right. This guy's not really engaged, so I don't go for him. Um, Please what we're stations looking for start. is someone who's just twiddling. There you go. Thank you for your attention. There's a bloke over there and a lady over there. Oh, no, she hasn't got a thing on. Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry, really curious. Um, just a little survey. You're on a platform on your phone. Is that because you're bored or you're just killing time or you're just in the middle of something really important? Um, no, it's all to do with um, somewhere where I didn't have access to a signal. Oh, so you got your... So I've just come back, flown back, and now it's kind of like... Oh, OK. I'm so you've got like a billion emails waiting for you to be... Uh... Oh, Fair enough. Did you go anywhere nice? Oh, I just have to cross the harbour, but I don't have Vodafone. Uh, oh. Signal, so. oh, so you didn't go on holiday over the harbour then? No. Huh? So I thought you said you went on holiday over the harbour. No, no, up to Coffs Harbour. Coffs oh, Harbour is a couple of hours more. Oh, right, see, I'm just a tourist, so I'm no, still working cool. it out well myself. No worries. So, here's just a quick question. If someone came actually had a conversation with you like this on the platform, would it be such a big deal? Not for me, no, because I travel, so... Uh, I think people who travel more get... Yeah, they're a little bit more open. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, where it depends, and I'm not currently working for myself. I'm switched off, but if I was, switched, if I was coming out of work, yeah. then I'm still trying to get over that uh, work mode. Yeah. Some people don't want to be... Just decompressing a bit. Yeah. Okay. That happens as well. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Daryl. Daryl, nice to meet you, Marcus. Oh. Thanks so much. Have a good Cheers, day. Mate. See you soon. Excuse me. Yes. Quick question. Okay. Are you on your phone because you're bored? Pardon? Are you on your phone because you're bored? Yes, extremely. Yeah, are you really? <laughs> oh, that's rubbish. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you want to hear a joke? Alright, sure. It's not a good one. Alright. Alright. Um, Sorry, my expectations are low now. <laughs> that is a good thing. That's, that is a really good thing. All right. Um, how does a lion like its steak? How? Yeah. Oh, no, no. You, no, hang on. He's telling a joke. All right, let's start again. I told you it was rubbish. All right. All right. So how does a lion like its steak? Ready? Now. Raw. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't get that one straight off. Hang on, hang on. You still laugh, though. That's bad. Hey, it was a 
was a good one. <laughs> it was like one of them petty laugh ones. Are you going to secretly steal that now and maybe, use it off your own? Maybe, okay. Yeah. So, Tell all my friends. <laughs> really? Of course, of course. Are you Australian? I am, yes. And do people talk to people much in Australia, like on platforms uh, and things? No, actually. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Um, depends if they're good people or not. I'm slowly getting more and more blind as I'm talking yeah, to you. Yeah, like, like, I've been, I'm been like, noticing. <laughs> yeah, maybe half a tan on my face. Yeah. Oh, Fancy the good, opera. Good. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So, sorry, what's your name? Kayla. Kayla, please meet our Marcus. Hello. Yeah. Just going around brightening people's day. Yeah. Did you say threatening people's day? So brightening. Brightening. Oh, okay. Brightening's more fun, isn't it? Yeah. Do you threatening on this side and brightening on that side? If you start threatening, then that's when the steps go away. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So Slightly turning back. Do. <laughs> what brings you out today, then? Um, I actually just helped my friend move into Manly. Oh, cool. That's yeah. a nice place, isn't it? Yeah, she's from. She just came over here on a working visa. Yeah. She's from Essex. Are you English? You know. I know yeah. Essex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured as much. As soon as I heard you, I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, how are you doing? Yeah, it sounds like her. Um, yeah, so I helped her move into Manly. Um, had a few drinks with some friends. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Have you been to England yourself then? Have I what? Have you been to England? I haven't, but um, she's invited me to stay at hers for a work visa for this year sometime, so I'm hopefully if you taking her If up you on. meet her, right, yeah. and are you seeing her later? Uh, probably. Okay, okay, if you say you spoke to a guy from Stains, Stains. she'd think that's so cool. She'd All be right. like, right. I'll probably respect. text her, be like, met a guy from Stains on the train station today. Yeah, it wasn't too weird. <laughs> it was all I right. I it. He told me an awesome joke. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm going to make that joke my own now. Good. You should. Why? Whose is it? I, I secretly stole it out of joke book. <laughs> but I I'm, 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 you know, hopefully not. You're the only person who knows that, though. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Would you like one last cheesy one before I go? All right. All right. What is 5Q? Right, it's an algebra question, right? Oh, so what's okay. 5Q <laughs> plus 5Q? I'm going to say 10Q. You're welcome. Uh <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Marcus. Marcus, hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm I'm only here for another day. How rubbish is that? Oh, are you going um, home? Yeah, I'm not going to Melbourne, which oh. is a really cool place. Yeah, that's alright. I've been to Melbourne, it's really nice. You are you do live in Australia, so I wouldn't I do. expect that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. No, do they have good beaches there? Um not as good as here. I know. So My life is over. <laughs> Alright, Kayla, lovely to talk to you. Nice to meet you. Really too. good energy about you. Keep <laughs> it up. You. See you later. Bye. Customers, please note that express buses will also be operating between Lincoln and Kevin so, this is the problem. These little things, phones, they get in the way and there's no need for them to. Wherever the cameraman is right now, I'm really good. There he is, doing the side on. Yeah, so phones don't need to get in the way. They don't need to block conversations. You can have really good conversations with people. They're not a barrier. See you later. How would you like to do what I do? Well, my team and I can take you into the real world and teach you how to be good at meeting and connecting with people up close and step by step. To find out more about getting hands-on training that will get rid of all the guesswork and take years off your learning curve in developing brilliant social skills, just head over to yourcharismacoach.com forward slash coaching. In the meantime, here's what two previous clients said about the quality of the training they received and the transformation they experienced from working with me. Hi, my name is Harper from Sydney and I just completed this workshop and it was Conversations going, it was a really good weekend, and the training was top notch. It was catered towards me and towards what I needed. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, him and his team did a great job, they worked with me personally the whole way through, and uh, I couldn't be happier. So, highly recommend his courses, and you should give them a shot. And here's a quick word from David Wigan about the quality of my live training. David Wigan here. When I come to London and do a boot camp, the first coach that I ever call to help out is Marcus. To me, Marcus is the best coach when it comes down to teaching guys and women conversational skills, but more importantly, how to be your true authentic self, how to be charismatic, how to be real, and how to have fun. If you're looking to change your life, if you're looking for somebody that will inspire you, that will make you feel wonderful about who you really are, to bring out all the amazing positive things about you that's been lurking down below, really down below, okay, it's Marcus. Once again, when I come here and I do a boot camp, he's the first guy that I call to help me coach a boot camp. So you know he's the best.